right, so this week I was able to get about one gallon of sap before it got really cold. But the good news is uh, today there was like four inches of fresh snow out there. It's actually perfect weather here uh, to make some snow maple candy. So that's what I'm going to give a shot to tonight. Okay, so the first step is to heat the sap up. And you want to heat it up to a temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit. At around 219 degrees, the maple sap is officially considered maple syrup. So right now we are in the maple syrup business. We have maple syrup here. Um, but in order to make this maple taffy, we need to heat it up even further. We want to get it to the soft ball stage, which is like a term that they use in candy making. I didn't know it before I researched it here. Uh, but ultimately, you want it at 240 degrees. And so what, what I'm doing is I'm watching carefully at the temperature and I'm heating up the sap. You can see that the bubbles are kind of going crazy when it gets around that maple syrup temperature. Um, and I keep pulling it off the heat so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, and also it doesn't kind of burn. And so what I'm doing is monitoring closely, looking for that 235 to 240 degree Fahrenheit mark. Uh, and I'm watching out for over, uh, for bubbling over. And you can see from one of the shots there, like the viscosity of the liquid has gone up and it is starting to look uh, maple syrup like. So I just turned the temperature down because I was getting a lot of boiling and the smell started to smell a little bit like burning sugar. Um, and so again, it's this fine line between heating it up to the point without boiling over, without burning it. And so you can see it's a little bit of touch and go. So that's a great shot of the syrup, um, 225 degrees. So we're close, we need about 10 more degrees. All right, and as you can see, we're at about 235 degrees now. And one thing I wanna point out is about the time that it has taken. Um, so what the video that you're watching is actually at 20 times speed. And I've also cut out a few chunks of slow period in the middle. So just so you know, um, the boiling of your own candy isn't going to happen as quickly as you're seeing here on the video. Uh, but just be patient and it will get there. Um, and I cut that out to make this video uh, easier to watch. So again, we're waiting for 240 degrees. We are almost there. You can see it's climbing very quickly now at the end. Um, and we're getting very, very close. Once it hits 240 degrees, what I'm gonna do is um, take it off of the pot and walk it out to the snow. So you can see there's my uh, foamy candy and the sliding door. Um, and so we have a fresh snow here out in the Philadelphia suburbs and we just got about four inches of snow, which is why I decided to do it. You can tell I wasn't really prepared. I didn't put on boots or anything like that. I'm up to my ankles or up to my shins in snow. So uh, all you do, you take that clean, fresh snow, look how clean it is. Uh, you avoid making the obvious joke about uh, not picking discolored snow. And really the technique is simple. You just pour the candy into the snow. So you're taking this superheated liquid um, that wants to kind of be a stretchy candy. And then all of a sudden you're pouring it into the snow, which is gonna rapidly cool it. And basically you just move it into strips and the hot liquid is gonna melt down into the snow. It is important to make sure that you have a couple of inches worth of snow because uh, it is going to melt down. I was surprised at how uh, far it melted down into the snow. So be ready for that. Make sure you have a couple of inches of snow. And also I'd recommend after doing this to make it a little bit thicker. Uh, don't spread out the candy as thinly as I did there, uh, but still it was delicious. And uh, right now what we have is maple taffy. So we're gonna give it one more second to cool uh, before we move on to the next phase. So now that the candy has cooled in the snow, what you wanna do is roll it up. So what they recommend um, in other recipes online is you take a popsicle stick or a spoon or something like that, and you roll it up around the spoon, but I actually had trouble getting it to adhere at this point. So all I did was roll it up by hand so this is definitely a Cro-Magnon way to do it, but uh, I'm sorry, I don't think the Cro-Magnons actually made this sugar. That was just a bad joke. But anyway, uh, so what I did was just kind of wrap up the taffy and, uh, and eat it by hand that way, which was still super delicious, just a little bit messier. All right, next up, you're gonna see the gratuitous candy eating scene, but uh, just so you know, this is one of the most delicious things I've ever uh, tasted, despite uh, how it looks in the shot here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy making maple taffy as much as I did here. It is so good.